Thank you, Kasia. So yeah, it is really stressful to stand there, actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, my name is Pirat, and my story building a community started uh, a couple of years ago. I have been actively involved in the recruitment almost seven to eight years. And when I started, there was no active, this kind of groups where you go to go and ask from people, how you do that? What is the best source for that? Uh, why you do things like that and etc. So my eyes were really, really opened. Uh, it was five years ago now when I participated first time sourcing summit in Amsterdam and I was blown away. There were so many people all over the world from really famous companies who were actually sharing the really neat hacks and tricks, how they source, how they hack web to find candidates and etc and this was really really mind-blowing for me when I went back home I felt really hangover not from the booze but that was included as well of course but from the knowledge from the it was seriously deep dive into the sharing community and I, I was amazed and I wanted to build something like that in Estonia as well so together with my ex Vernita <laughs> We actually uh, started to, uh, with community or the web page called Straight Out the Candidates in Facebook. And we started to invite other people there as well. So the community there has been growing. And today, as I am from Estonia, I know the small country, then there is approximately 500 people in this community. And the um, first six months, uh, me, Renita, and also Christina, who joined a little bit later, we were the only one who were posting stuff there. So it's like, you know, Estonians are w this kind of slow people. They are not really talking that much and etc. So first six months were really tough. Uh, but uh, we arranged a small gathering in real life to get to know those people who are actually commenting and also somehow uh, seeing the content that we are providing. And from this kind of... Um, first face-to-face -face meeting with this smaller group of people, there was the idea that we should actually do this kind of things more often. We should get to face-to-face -to -face more often to actually ask those questions uh, and share the knowledge and experiences. So from that, this kind of event was born. Uh, the nice picture is actually created by Renita's husband. Everything is done without any money. <laughs> Our events are free. Uh, but the Recruitment Thursday is monthly event, and uh, what we do, we are actually visiting different Estonian companies, not only IT, but also all other uh, companies where are problems with recruitment or some kind of success stories that they want to share. And we have been doing this now, this is second season, and uh, through those events, we have had approximately 15 or 16 events. We took a small break during the summertime to just take a rest because we are running this beside our everyday job as well. So, um, and, and yeah, some of the pictures from those events. We are discussing loads of different topics. Uh, how to bring uh, people to Estonia, because as you know, it is a small country. There's loads of uh, IT companies who are recruiting constantly, so the lack of people is really huge. So how do you get those qualified employees? You will bring them in. Uh, and last event uh, was actually in the National Opera in Estonia, and they told us how they are recruiting ballerinas, and what is, what is actually needed to do that, and how they are actually uh, also uh, recruiting opera singers. Do you know that uh, opera singers need to sing behind the closed curtains? So you actually don't see the face of the person. So this, those are the things that we are learning through those events. And uh, the, the biggest events have been almost 100 people. And we have done uh, things like small hackathons, uh, small workshop in the end of those events. They are approximately three, four hours long, so there is always time to the community networking and stuff like that. And we actually have already a list of companies who want to host us by the end of the year. So it's, it's kind of amazing. And yeah, as I said, everything is without money. So we want to provide people the opportunity to learn together. 
And this is the one thing that started in my head and that we are still continuing, is that together everyone achieves more. So yeah, it is a team, but the team doesn't necessarily need to be in your company. You can build your team whenever you want to. And this is, this is the community and this is the strength that I see in this community. Thank you.